Hi, this is Daniel Gilbert Valencia, and this is a brief presentation on curating your digital footprint. So what is that? What is a digital footprint? It's the trail of interactions you've made with your digital environment. Your TV usage, if you have satellite or cable, could be connected to the internet. Mobile phone usage, as well as internet usage. It's important to note that more devices with the ability to record your interactions come online every day. We're seeing vehicles and appliances come online. So we do live in an age where what goes online stays online. It does not disappear, and it's important to be aware of that. Here's a short list of content that can and will be recorded. Emails and chat messages, of course, web page visits and purchases. But what to be most aware of is content you create on things like Facebook, Twitter, or perhaps your blog. Just for a comparison, have you ever taken a class where half of your grade was based on just one or two assignments? Let's say you had a paper and maybe a test and you completely bombed the test. If the test was worth 50%, would you have any chance of getting a good grade in that class? Probably not. Well, the internet's kind of like that. If someone goes to look for information on you and all they see is a couple negative postings, let's say maybe somebody wrote a blog about you and said a few negative things, or they search for your name and some reviews you wrote came up under the sack B and you said nothing but negative things for every single post you applied to. Well, those are gonna leave a lasting impression. So you want to make sure that you are controlling what's out there about you. You cannot control what other people post about you, but you can control your bigger footprint. So why does that matter? Well, it, it can affect your future job prospects, your college applications, even relationships. If you are trying to pursue someone and they Google your name and nothing but negative things comes up, that will affect things for you. Now, what not to do? First of all, Never post when you're angry or under the influence of any substances. Do not feed internet trolls. These are the people that post very hateful and sensitive things out on the internet. Just ignore them. Don't engage with them. They are just trying to get attention. So don't feed the internet trolls. Keep calm and ignore them. What you can also do. You want to actively manage your reputation. First of all, and most importantly, create a Google alert to detect new content that's posted about you. It's very easy to do. It just takes a couple minutes of your time. If you are a parent, you might want to create a Google alert about your children as well, just to be sure that they're safe. You also want to create some content. Create a content cushion to push down the negative search results. This means creating some positive stuff out there on the internet. That way, when others Google you, they'll see that positive stuff first or at least not just see the negative stuff. So your first assignment is to go home and sign up for a Google Alert. Here's the website right here. Very easy, you just search for your first and last name, search for everything, for how often, choose as it happens, and for how many, choose all results, and then deliver it to your email. This will send you an alert every time your name is written. And there are ways to go about limiting those search results and I'll include a handout. So start creating your content cushion. You do want to create academic or professional blogs and curate those by using a online free website. I'll give you a couple options. Um, you want to join some online groups for your interests and posts. Do, do post helpful and inquisitive items to those online groups. You also want to post your intellectual discoveries via Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook. Delicious Bookmarks and Digo are also very good websites to use to post your discoveries. Flavors.me and About.me are really good free websites that will help you curate and control your activity all in one place. So that way if someone searches for your name, they see your website and they see every good thing that you've written. Thanks for listening. Now get out there and start curating.